it's been a while since I've done one of these tutorial things. So here we go. We're doing another one here. Um, what I've been asked a lot with the how to work with materials, especially with the material overrides. Uh, so I was going to cover that a little bit here. Uh, if you don't know what a material override is, it's uh, all the materials have like properties attached to them, and allows you to override that specific texture on the model that you're using at this one time and only this model without affecting the model being used in other shots. Um, so I was just there's three main ones that I use and I think are the most useful and that's alpha, color, and self-illuminate. And I'll kind of show you a little bit how to do that. I'll start with alpha because it's actually pretty useful here. Um, so like say you want to uh, take Twilight here and you want to like say remove her wings. Um, the wings are actually a separate texture on the models than others, so you can uh, modify them separately. So in this case, I'm going to add an override to Twilight here. So if you right-click the model and go to Add Override Materials, when you click this, it'll look like nothing happens, but technically you've instanced the part or the uh, the part of uh, the materials to this model. If you go to right-click again, it'll say Remove. If you want to remove them, you can do that. To actually see the the change here, you have to go to Show an Element Viewer, and then go to Model. This will open up the element viewer unless you already have it open. I'm going to move this so it's just out of the way here. And at the very bottom, or at least close to the bottom here, you should see something called materials. If you open this up, you can see all the separate materials that are attached to the model. Some will only have a single one, which allows very little customization. Or in this case, there's all the mo uh, the textures are separated, which allows quite a bit of customization. So say we want to remove the wings here. You Instead of having to delete it from the model or like animate it to pull the wings from the body, you, you can just add an override here. So there, you can ignore some of these things here. This will actually help you find the texture for it because being the name of it, but uh, we'll get to that in a sec. So if you right click the name of the texture, the green text, and you go down to add a tribute and then go to float, it'll pop up a little screen here. So we're gonna add alpha and all in VMT, uh, so that's uh, valve material textures, I think, um, will have a number sign at the front and then, or a currency sign and then alpha. That's all you put for this. Say OK, and you'll immediately notice that the wings will disappear. Since it defaults to zero, alpha being zero means invisible. So you can see that now her wings are gone. They are still there. If you go and actually look, you can see the bones for the actual wings, but they are now hidden. If I go and change this to one, they'll come back because one being 100%. This does allow you to actually go and, because it's a float, do percentages so you can make semi-transparent textures. Do know though that it doesn't really work well for like actually transitioning because if I go to 0 0.999, um, it's still mostly transparent. It's not really as smooth. As soon as you go to one, it's just gonna pop into existence again. So, but it does that does come in handy. So, say you want to remove her wings, I can go bam, wings gone. Now I want to remove her horn. I can do the same thing. We'll go to horn, add attribute, float. We'll just add that alpha. We'll try adding alpha. There we go. And now her horn is gone. Really simple and allows you to, to remove parts from the body. Um, if you wanted to remove teeth, the eyelashes, uh, you can do that without having to actually go and modify the textures for that entire model for all files. Uh, which allows you to just do it in this one instance. If you want to remove all the different changes, you can go over here, remove override materials. Everything will go back to normal. But do know that it will destroy any of your changes, so you, if you go to Add Override Materials again, all those changes will be gone. So that's just how to use Alpha a little bit. Uh, one other thing you can do with this is actually change the tint of the mod, the, 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 any color of, that's already in existence. So I uh, went and re-added the Material Overlay, or the Override Materials here. And say, uh, what do we want to change on here? We're gonna, I'm just going to change our body color, why not? So we'll go to body here and just do the same thing, add attribute. But this time, there's two different ways to do this. Um, I'll show you the, the one easier way and then the more powerful way. So I'm just going to add attribute color and it's just the same thing with the currency sign and then color. It immediately defaults like the others to zero. In do it, doing so, it makes her black. You can still see though that light does interact with her, but she is pure black. You can just go and click this little black bar here and just literally change the colors that you want. Now do know that this changes the hue, not the, or the tint of it, not the actual color of it. So if I go up to white, it still makes her purple because that's her base color. So that's why if I go and say put on red, as I go red, it, it makes the purple more red. 
Uh, if you go really, really strong colors, you can start to over overload it so much that you can see more of the color that you want. But this does allow you to actually go and say, uh, say you wanted to change just the hue to like more of a blue or something. And that's just showing with the pony model. But if you wanted to say, uh, like if you had like another model, and in this case, I will show you a building. You can go and actually use the overrides to uh, make a slight variety within them. This building model happens to have uh, all different textures for different parts. So in this model, like right now, 111, this is just the brick color. So at zeros, it's a mix of all black. But instead of having the same buildings that all look the same, you can go and change this a little bit. So I'm just going to change the hue, and I'll show you what the numbers are in a second here. Just slightly, and say... Um, a different color like uh, like that, and now you have a slightly different hue. Um, to get the color that looks like this, this is the little little bit more powerful way to it. I'm gonna remove this override, and so you go back to normal. I'm gonna add color, but I'm gonna go to vector three instead. And there's a good reason why I prefer vector three over just choosing color. And this is gonna be the exact same thing. And this is your red, green, blue. So if I do one zero zero, you get red. If you do uh, 0, 1, 0, you get green, and 0, 0, 1 is blue. And 1, 1, 1 is white, so it's back to the base color. But you can then choose just hues of such. So half red, full green, and let's do 3 fourths blue. And then you get a little bit of a greenish hue. One of the reasons that, that I do it this way, and I'm going to go back to Twilight for this, because uh, I think it's kind of cool. So, we're going to go and show her in the element viewer again. And I am going to get rid of the color like this and add in... Okay, we're going to add in color. Vector 3. Okay, now this is her base color, but in the other one when you have it selected, you can, like, here, you can only see you have limits on where you can place um, the color. Well... I can go above 111 now, so I could go to 10, 10, 10, and make her glow uh, in a real, really awkward way, I guess. But this will allow you to say go and say it's a super glow, just do 2, 2, 2, and you can just make her have a brighter color to herself, which actually does come in handy for like lamps or something. You can create a lighter part of the object if the textures allow it. Uh, and getting into the bits where you can override to have a brighter texture, uh, there's also something called self-illuminate. Now, self-illuminate has a little bit of a change. You can't add self-illumination to the model uh, in the override, but you can modify it in the override. So first, we want to add it to it. So if you first, you want to find the, the texture, and like I said before, you can use the bit here. We're going to make her horn glow in essence here. So I'm going to go to her horn, and right here it shows the location of the texture. Models VNMLP to Sparkle Horn. So I already opened it up here, but it's under your user mod folder if that's where the model is. But it's materials, because it's defaulting to materials, then models VNMLP Twilight Sparkle. Then it's just the horn one, which is this one. So I've already got that open here. And... A lot of this is going to be confusing. This is the same. You can control basically all these within the override, but some of these are just base values that you don't want to play with too much. So we're going to go and add a line here, and it's just going to be, and these have to be in quotations as far as I know. Money, the quotation money sign, then we're going to go self alum, so S-E-L-F-I-L-L-U-M, and then and just put a one afterwards, one meaning turn it on. So I'm going to save that, and we're going to, just going to reload the materials. I have a little mod in the uh, workshop, they have a reload materials here. If you want to do it manually, um, in the console, you can type in mat reload all materials. You can reload it by material too, but this is easier now. So, And that will reload every material that's on the map. It will take a minute. Now you'll notice our corn now is a little bit lighter. It is now igno it lighting itself. It won't emit light, but it will look like it is creating light. So, in this case, if I go and turn off the lights here, you can see that her horn, even though this map has no lights, is actually still lit, as if light is hitting it. 
which has quite a bit of uses. So let's say that we want her to use some kind of magic that causes her horn to start actually glowing. Well, we can go to horn and very similar to how we did color, it's actually almost identical. Go to add attribute vector three. And this time we're gonna add one called self illume tint. So it's the same as the self illume, just adding the word tint to the end. Say, okay, this will look darker. And if, uh, if I trap the lights, I think, yeah, it still makes it black because it's defaulting to all zeros. I'm gonna go to one, 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 and again, it's white, but I can go beyond that again. So let's say we wanna have it actually look like a magic glow. Go 10, 10, 10. And now we have a horn that looks like a light bulb. Uh, and again, you can see that there is no actual light emitting from it. So her, her uh, mane is still uh, not lit around it, but we can go just add a light and say, put it over here, here. Drop the intensity right around that spot. So you can just kind of make your own emitted light from that source. But you can do that with anything. So you could actually make her, um, her tail. Well, and actually, this is that's one of the uses I found in it too. Is if you wanted to make a, a silhouetted picture, so that uh, I'll keep that volumetric on here. Uh, you could keep actually add a self illumination to the tail and to the mane, so that even though you can't see because of the light, you can actually still have a. Uh, a glowing mane and a glowing, or not even just glowing, but visible tail. So uh, I recommend playing around with the, the the overrides quite a bit. They have a lot of power to them. It's just not much of it is known. So uh, if you look up on the Valve developer community about materials, you can actually start looking into uh, some of the parameters that you can modify in it. Uh, and there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with it, whether it's be to add in some... Um, like a, a metallic look compared to a more matte look. Uh, and there's a lot of power you can have to it. And it, it looks a little complicated. Once you get used to it, it's actually not too bad. So uh, yeah, play around with it yourself and see what you can do with it and see what uses you can come out of uh, with it. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll be hoping to make some more tutorials here in the short near future too.